Our team name is Alpha. We are from Russia, Tomsk. We have been involved in robotics since 2018. We have participated in university category. The problem was to program a robot to move within a map, collecting objects while avoiding obstacles. We have used predefined hard-coded points and trigonometry to navigate a robot within a map. In result, we have achieved that robot completes these problems. Some issues appear during program running because of algorithm imperfection. The challenge mission is to program a robot to move within a map. This challenge can be separated into these tasks, navigation, object collection, avoiding obstacles. Navigation in, in its turn can be divided into smaller tasks like moving from point to point task and find the shortest path between two points. If you implement navigation, object collection and avoiding obstacles algorithms, you will be able to complete the challenge. To complete this task, it's sufficient to store map data. You can store the map as a graph. To create a, to create a graph for the map, you can use different types of graph implementation like simple graph or cell decomposition. Finding short path can be made by using different pathfinding algorithms like Dijkstra or A star and etc. Our method for solving the problem is that our robot moves from point to point which we set up before the game, so we know in advance which path the robot is moving along before the game starts. In addition, we check for the presence of regular and super objects, as well as wait for a deposit and check for traps and other obstacles. To solve the problems mentioned earlier, you can use different algorithms. You can set the path of the robot in advance, or you can calculate it based on some data about the map. As mentioned earlier, our strategy is based on setting the points on which the robot drives before the game. Fireball N stands for the current number of a point in the path. It increments every time we have reached the point. Our algorithm completes almost everything, but it's not such efficient as algorithms based on graphs. Since our robot reacts to a super object only when it's near it, it can try to go to it even if there is an obstacle in front of it. This can be corrected by using cell decomposition or simple graphs, as well as by setting a counter that limits the number of times a robot can try to go to an object. To debug, you can print variable values into the console or platform or write logs into files. The robot performs the assigned task, but the result can be improved using various algorithms. If I had to solve the similar problem again, I would try using cell decomposition and various navigation algorithms. Using CoSpace Robot, I learned about various mapping and navigation algorithms as well as about the C programming language and various data structures. I got the opportunity to look at how other people are solving a similar problem. I want to advise novice participants to deepen their knowledge of C programming language, data structures, algorithms in order to solve problems in a complex way.